So we've covered a lot about making assemblies. Let's now talk about how to manage them. File names, file paths, what if errors occur, and how do we fix them? Also, how do we share our assemblies and filter out what parts are actively being used in our assemblies? Let's go through that now. Here I have my chair assembly that I've been working on, and I also have the files in Explorer here that all pertain to the assembly that I've made. So I can close my file, I can open it from Explorer, and everything opens normally and as expected. However, let's take this file back underscore one, and I'll change the name to simply back. Now, if I open my chair assembly, I get a message and it says that I have a missing design or not found. The reason is this is still looking for back underscore one. Of course, we want it to look for the part that I just renamed it to. So I can stand on the part that is missing, click on replace. I can browse to where my part is and choose back. And now I simply click OK. And when I do, our assembly loads as normally. When I close, I can save as I exit. And now if I reopen my assembly, I receive no error messages and things open as normal. So if parts of your assembly are renamed or moved from their original locations, you may incur these errors. And that is how we can solve them, by using that replace function. Now it may also be something where I want to share this assembly with a colleague or someone else, but I'd have to send all of the parts along with the assembly file. And that can be kind of challenging, especially if you have a long assembly that has a lot of old parts that aren't currently used in there. So let's make this easy. We'll go to File and I'll select Package. And I'll create a package here. I'll create a folder and we'll simply call that new folder and place the package in an empty folder. Now, when our package is created in this new folder, we can see that I have this package file here that I can send or share with anyone. When I double click on it, it asks me if I want to restore the files and if there are already files of the same name in this uh, folder, then we can also overwrite them. and We'll say, okay. So we've opened the restored file and you can see that all of the parts of the assembly are now restored from the package. And we have the complete assembly and I've been able to share this assembly and create a package without having to worry about what files I should include and what files I should not. So if you have a lot of files that you simply want to filter through and, use, and get only the ones that are actively used in the assembly, this is a great solution. And that's how we do it. We can find and fix file name and file path errors, and we can use the package feature for sharing and filtering out exactly what we're using in our assembly. Hope that was helpful.